one 2019 to this shows my picture where i add like yeah, in 2019 i was very big on protective styling as well like i did a lot of protective styling especially all backs because then too i was putting on hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your first time seeing my face i'm Ogi and i create relaxed content for my girlies i'm very excited to have you in my space and i'm very sure and i trust that you will find my content worthy and um you'll be able to subscribe and enjoy my videos in today's video i'm taking you guys back memory lane because we're talking about how i started my relaxed air journey and um i have a couple of pictures in my gallery that i really want to share with you guys and um this just shows my it shows the journey of my hair literally since the day i started and then um, it just shows that being consistent really pays and um if you put in the work like you would actually see progress in your hair care journey so in today's video you guys will indulge me because i'm going to be sharing all these um videos and pictures with you and you guys can actually see and um if there's anybody out there who has given up on the air journey this is the reassurance that anything is possible like if you put in the work and you're consistent and you're patient and um, you would actually and um, put in the good work like you would actually see progress with your hair journey if it sounds like something you'll be interested in watching please don't go anywhere sit back relax and enjoy this video Without further ado, please, let's dive into this video. So in case you guys find me looking at this side to the left side, I have my laptop here because that's where I have most of the pictures. So this is how it's going to work. Yeah. As I'm talking, when I'm editing this video, I will just attach the video, I will attach the pictures and images on the screen so you can follow up with what I'm saying. Because I'm just going to be seeing, I'm just going to be like talking or making reference to the particular images that i i'm going to put up basically so without further ado i'll just start with the first image well before we actually dive into the images let me tell you guys how as how my hair journey actually started from just a trim so my hair journey started in 2018 was it 2018 or 20 it was 2017 it was 2017 and um at that point i was honestly just contemplating cutting my hair like going back to to natural hair well i've never experienced my hair as natural before because all my life i've been relaxed like i just grew up being relaxed basically and then um, this particular day i was like i'm just going to like cut this hair i'm tired so i know one of my friends Fiwa Shewa. hello to you shout out to Fiwa Shewa if you're watching this video i'm sure she's going to watch this video or rather i'll just tell her to watch this video shout out to you that day, i know Fiwa was, Fiwa Shewa was very or he's still very healthy air conscious she was also relaxed there and um, she was really, really particular about her hair journey, her hair care journey. And it was somebody that I looked up to when it comes to like, you know, relaxed hair journey in, in short. So this was glad. I was just like, I think I'm going to call Fiwa Shewa to just help me to just give me a good trim. Because at that point, I felt like, okay, I think I can still give my hair a chance. Without just, I think I can just give it a chance instead of just cutting it from, from the root or just big chopping in short so i called fiwashewa fiwashewa came over i think i gave fiwashewa his scissors and she gave me a very good 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 trim i think i will show i'll attach a picture of what my hair looked after that trim so that's how it started like so literally my hair journey my relaxed journey started from a good trim shout out to fiwashewa thank you for that trim like you really changed the health of my hair so that aside we can now jump right into the images so the first picture i'm showing you guys today is this picture on the screen either left or right of the screen you guys will see it and it shows my hair at um i think it's like a little bit below shoulder length as you guys can see and this was when i just had the i think i should put my laptop here so i can see better and this was when i had and this was when i when i just got in that trim that I said feel show i gave me so yeah this is the picture and this was in 20 and this was in 2017 <laughs> as you can see my hair was like a ponytail i'll show you another one this this picture too <laughs> oh my god this just looks very ridiculous see you guys can see how tiny how tiny and cute i don't know if you guys can see you guys can see how cute 
I'm minute. <laughs> my my hair was so yeah, those were the early days of my hair. So this too. So I'll just go straight to 2018, pictures from 2018 as well. I'm just scanning through and um, see. So the picture I just showed you now is from 2017. So the next is from 2018. And um, yes, we have this picture on the screen. And yeah, my hair was already like, you know, it was already gathering body. <laughs> or it was actually, it was getting thicker and I was really liking my hair then. And this picture was taken in um, December of 20, 2018. That was like a few months after I had the the trim that Fiwa Shewa gave me. I'm not going to stop calling Fiwa's name in this video because she was where everything all started, basically. So this picture was in 2018. Yeah. Then moving on to the next picture. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, 2020, I'll pick this from 2020, so I'm looking for, yeah, this is another picture. Yeah, this is another picture from 2018, and um, this is very sequel to the picture I just showed you, and as you can see, my hair is like, it was really like, it was really coming up, it was really coming up, and was really doing well, and even though it was not all leveled, you can see that the ends are kind of like raggedy, but my hair was kind of trying because i was putting in the the work that it required at that point in time so yeah this shows that so moving on to the next one pictures from 2019 so i'm just still scanning through to see if i would find any pictures from 2018 um 2018 2018 2018 um no i don't have any pictures from 2018 yeah I've, so I've shown you guys four pictures, this picture, that one, this one, some pictures from 2017. Um, moving on to this picture from 2017, you guys can also see how my hair is. Like It was like I mentioned earlier, it was just slightly below the shoulder length. Or rather, it was just slightly below shoulder length. Then moving on to the next one is this hair. Like <laughs> This hair was so nice. It almost looks as if I had um, done feathers. See how it looks, it looks like, um, it looks like, uh, what they call it, blunt cuts. It was really nice. So that's the state of my hair in 2017. Moving on to 2018. Um, I think I'd showed you two pictures in 2018. So I'll just show you the third one. And this is a picture, like, see how my hair was looking so nice and full. My hair was still, like, you know, it was just... It was also up and coming here, and this is what my hair looked like in 2018. Moving on to more recent pictures from 2019. Um, yeah, I'll show you this picture. Yeah, it's really looking so healthy. The ends were looking equal. It was becoming so thick, and things were really great for me in 2019. It was like, it was like two years after I. Had it was like two years after the major trim that I had. And of course, it was expected, like I mentioned earlier, I had put in the good work. I was consistent and I was starting to see the results. So this picture was an evidence that it's, it's pays to be consistent. It's really pays to, to be. So moving on to this picture, this I have my hair. I was just, I think this particular day, I was checking my length. I was doing a length check of my hair and that's why I have this white um, scarf below so that it would just help me in determining my length at that point in time. Moving on to this next one, it was still in 2019 that I took this, this picture and um, my hair was already tending to the to the to the bra to the bra length. Yes, in a way it was doing that. Moving on to the next ad, it was the same picture but I had packed my hair in this in this picture and this is what it looked like um next one 2019 so this shows my picture where i add like yeah, in 2019 i was very big on protective styling as well like i did a lot of protective styling especially all backs because then too i was putting on 
I was putting on wigs, a lot, a lot of wigs at that point in time. So um, all bags were my, were my go-to. I would make all bags for like two weeks. Then I would refresh and go in again with the same all bags. So it was really a thing for me and I really enjoyed this moment. This picture with the peace out sign was also in 2019. And... Um, my hair was becoming full as expected and during this period i think i was most of these pictures i took uh some are taken after my relaxer touch up days and this particular one i think i just relaxed my hair yeah and this is what my hair looked like so that's all the pictures from 2019 then uh, we'll move on to 2020 sorry guys i have my laptop here that's where i'm making reference to the pictures from so just pardon me if I keep looking down and up, that one up, I'm sorry. So moving on to 2020 pictures, I have this picture where I add this white top on. And also I was trying to determine the length of my hair at that point in time. So I was doing a length check. It's safe to say that in 2020, I was doing the lockdown, my hair was really, really, how do I say it, it really gave me the run for my money i don't know if that's the right thing to say but my hair was very healthy like i can say at that point in time i knew that my hair was getting long and it was equally as healthy as i wanted it to be uh, moving on to as you can see it was already tending to the to the bra to the bra length to the bra length to the bra strap length to be precise moving on to the next one is this picture from 2020 I don't know why my hair looked funny in this picture but yeah this is what it looked like in 2020 um yeah this picture was april it was um it was march 2020 and the next one is from may 2020 and this is what my hair looked like i think i was just losing like i like i'm like i mentioned earlier i made reference to the fact that i was very big on cornrows at that point in time and yeah i was really really doing cornrows so this picture showed or it reflected that Steve are just taking down a cornrow because of the colors in my hair the next one too shows my hair in this state and my hair was looking back now my hair was still kind of short in a way but it was like i mentioned it was quite thick and it was quite obvious so i'll see the way it looked like i see if i i added a um, attachment to my hair but trust me I didn't add any attachments, it was all my hair. So back then in 2020, like I said, I was really I was really keeping up with the cornrows and all that. Sometimes I would just alternate and do strands of single single braids of hair at the back instead of having it run all the way to the back. So this one shows that. Then this is also from 2020. Yeah, this hair is also from 2020. Like my hair looks so lush and long also yeah this was one of my protective style days where i had the um, single braids or mini braids in this also my mini braids and here i think i loosened my mini braids and my hair looks so poofy and there's so much volume in this picture same as this again to my yeah this was this picture was taken in november 2020 and the next one was taken in November 2020. And this is my hair. Like my hair looked shorter here. It seems like I had taken a trim or something like that in this picture. Moving on to this fine picture, I had my mini braids on. At this point, my hair was, my braids was really getting old, as you can see from the roots. And um, yeah, this is another picture, very nice picture. So that's all the pictures I have from 2020. And uh, we'll move on to 2021. Moving on to 2021, I have this picture and this picture on the left, because it's like a collage, it shows me, it shows a picture when I was taking down my self braided braids. Yeah, it showed that, as you can see, I think I uh, I add not less braids in. So I'm uh, taking one third of the braids down, then I add the other ones that I had not taken. And this other picture too, like my hair was getting too full in 2021. Moving on to the next one is this picture. As you can see, like 2020, 2019, 2020, 2021, I was, they were like my productive style years because 
I was really, really consistent with protective style. And obviously, it really, really helped with my hair because I gained a lot. I retained a lot of length and my hair became uh, thicker and, and lengthier. So this picture shows my regular, regular cornrows as the all back. And um, this is just a collage that I, I that I had done. I think I needed it for my, I needed it for my Instagram page at that point in time. The next one is the collage as well, showing you what my all back looked like when I just need it, and what it looked like some weeks after. I think it was like two weeks after, just so that you can see what it looks like the passage of time with regards to the hair that I had, I had done myself um and this picture in 2021 shows my long hair i think this had um, recently just got a new relaxer touch up and i wanted to like just take a picture to like freeze memory and see if at this point in time this is what my hair looked like in so 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 so, so dates so this is what I did. This is my hair. As you can see, it was looking lush. It was looking nice. Well, I think it's, let's be honest, it does look like it's a little bit under processed. Like if I zoom in, it's a little bit under processed. But yeah, at that point in time, I was using the, um, the No Lie Relaxer. I was using Organics by Africa's Best. I don't use Organics by Africa's Best again for reasons best known to me. I think I did mention why I don't use that in my relaxer videos. When um, when you a chance, you can just keep up with that. So I just been to watch some of my videos and just know where exactly where I'm coming from. Why I not, why I stopped using some certain things in my hair journey. So the next one just shows me. I think I, I was preparing this picture because I had my hair in twist. So this picture too, and this. As you guys know, as you guys know, I'm very big on braided bun and braided ponytails because they really protect your hair from damages. They really protect your hair from split ends. So that's what I was doing. This picture just shows me with my with my um, with my shoelace because I was using my shoelace so often back then. Then I, I just took them. I just braided my hair into one and i just dumped it in with a bobby pin that's what i did and that's what this picture shows the same thing it's my it's my millennial sign face out sign too and this is what my hair looked like um my hair in 2021 as well this is what my hair like my hair was really getting long it was really really getting long at this point like it was even aiming for the brass strap length i think so so and this picture shows you that I was trying out a fish fish deal. So this is what the picture showed. And this picture, yeah, this I think I'd already had recently gotten recently gotten a relaxer touch up done in this picture here. So this is what it looks like. This also this picture was so nice. See how rounded my edges were and how thick my hair looked too. And this picture showed I think I had taken down my kinky twist in this picture and this is what my hair looked like really 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 in this picture so i was very big on this just to tell you guys that pictures are very key like that's the only way you're able to like freeze memories and make reference to what had happened at a particular point in time um so yeah if i didn't take this picture there was no way i would have been able to like you know come up with this video or even have the idea of sitting and filming this video so we are done with 2021 and we'll move on to 2022. In 2022 as well, yeah, 2022 was that part where, was that year when I made that conscious effort that I really wanted to start going to a professional hair salon and that's when I did. So in September 2022, I was the first time I attended or visited, visited a professional salon. That is a salon in Ikoi. I'm sure you guys know the salon I'm talking about here. Yeah. So, and that's when I got a very good trim, more like I got a blunt cut from that visit. And in other words, too, it was more like another fresh journey for my hair because the trim I got, or rather the blunt cut I got was really intense. Just, it's safe to say that it was so intense. So this picture too was, I'm trying to look at the, when I took this picture, this picture was taken in January 2022, no, I had not gone for my for the blunt cut, or I had not visited the 
professional salon like i mentioned earlier this was not no that had not happened so this picture was just a picture i took for my birthday <laughs> my birthday was like few weeks before i actually took this um picture so yeah and this is a video as you guys can see the picture on the left shows few days it was even few days i think it was the same day that i went to the salon for my villa sack touch up and i had gotten that blunt cut like i mentioned earlier and my hair at this point in time too was at some um, frost trap and then um, the picture on the picture on the right because i had worn my hair out to the office the following day the humidity really affected my hair because i was left with puffy ends see just look at what my just compared it to then see what the see what my hair looks like on the on the left and look at the puffiness and the humidified hair that was happening on the right <laughs> so moving on to the to the next one is just this casual picture just showing my hair as well and this is just a picture of my braided um ponytail this is a picture as well this picture was taken in um it was taken in february 2022 and this picture as well was taken in march 2022 also, since I see how full my hair was, I think also this picture I had just taken down a protective style, so hence while the volume. Um, so this picture was in September when I had taken when I had visited. Was it the one in September? This picture was in September, pardon me. This picture was in July, it was in July. I think I had, yes, I went for my I had, I had an appointment for the touch up in july i think it was early july or thereabouts that i did that also that year was when i started my my youtube channel i started my youtube channel i think it was july sometimes july early july a few days after that touch up because i just wanted to like document my hair journey from that period and since that time like it's two years into the youtube journey and i haven't regretted one day so i'm really glad for this opportunity to share my hair journey with you guys and i hope you guys are are enjoying or you guys have learned from my sweet news from my channel um so moving on to the picture and that is 2022 2023 i didn't add so much from 2023 because i know i think i had shared one or two videos or one or two pictures of any 